A destroyer is a quick, maneuverable, long-range warship designed to protect capital ships in a fleet or battle group from the air, on the surface, and under the surface threats. Destroyers are equipped with high-resolution radars, sensors, and a higher number of vertical missile launchers to perform their roles. Currently, the United States deploys Arleigh Burke class of destroyers, while Russia has the Savramani and Udaloy classes of destroyers in service. Today, we will compare the U.S. destroyers against Russian destroyers and will try to determine which class of destroyers is better. This video is sponsored by World of Warship. World of Warships is a PC game free to download and play. The game consists of team-based sea battles that require a variety of strategies and tactics. I enjoy how this game sharpens your strategy building skills in a multiplayer environment consisting of over 44 million players. You have the option to choose over 400 historical ships to play with beautiful maps. The battle takes place on locations with changing weather conditions to make battles more realistic and diverse. You can customize the ships for optimal performance or as per your likings. The game includes five different types of warships like destroyers, battleships, cruisers, aircraft carriers, and submarines. Click on the first link in the description below and download World of Warships. Register into the game to enjoy a huge starter pack. Use the code BOOM to get for free 200 doubloons, two ships, St. Louis and premium ship Ebden, 20 times restless fire camouflage, 2.5 million credits, and seven days of premium account. Number one, the United States Navy operates around 68 Arleigh Burke class destroyers. The destroyer can conduct land strikes, anti-aircraft, anti-submarine, and anti-surface warfare. The ship is equipped with Aegis radar system capable of defending a large battle group against incoming missiles and enemy aircraft. The destroyer is fitted with a platform for fueling and rearming an anti-submarine warfare helicopter. With an overall length of 509 feet, the beam of the destroyer is 66 feet. The displacement of the ships in this class ranges between 8,315 to 9,700 tons. On the other hand, the Russian Navy is operating seven Udaloy class and four Savramani class destroyers. The Udaloy class is anti-submarine destroyer, whereas the Savramani class was designed to engage enemy ships. A fully loaded Savramani class destroyer displaces 8,480 tons. Overall length of the destroyer is 512 feet and beam is 57 feet. The displacement of a fully loaded Udaloy class destroyer is 7,620 tons. The length of a destroyer is 535 feet and the beam is 63 feet. Both Savramani and Udaloy class destroyers can accommodate helicopters. Number two, the Arleigh Burke class destroyer is propelled by four General Electric gas turbine engines, each producing 25,900 horsepower. These massive engines can push the destroyer to a maximum speed in excess of 30 knots. The range of the destroyer is around 4,400 nautical miles at 20 knots. In comparison, the Savra Many class propulsion system is based on two steam turbine engines, each producing 50,000 horsepower. The ship's maximum speed is just under 33 knots. At 18 knots, the range is around 3,920 nautical miles. Similarly, Udaloy class destroyer is powered by gas turbine engines producing 120,000 horsepower combined. The Udaloy has a maximum speed of 35 knots and a range of 10,500 nautical miles at speed of 14 knots. Number 3. The American destroyer is outfitted with phased array radar, which is a key component of the Aegis combat system. This radar can track 800 targets simultaneously with a range of 175 nautical miles. The vessel is equipped with navigation and fire control system radars. The Burks are outfitted with sonar suite, bow-mounted active search and attack sonar, and passive towed array sonar for anti-submarine warfare. The sonar can detect anti-ship mines at a depth of around 4,618 feet. A remote mine hunting system is mounted for anti-mine warfare. On the contrary, the Savramani class is mounted with 3D radar capable of detecting fighter jet and missiles from 124 nautical miles and 27 nautical miles respectively. The radar can detect and track 40 targets simultaneously. The ship is equipped with three navigation radars, air target acquisition radar, and fire control radars for the 130mm and 30mm guns. 
The sonar suite includes active and passive search and attack sonar, while the Udaloy class is fitted with a horse jaw bow mounted low frequency sonar and horse tail low frequency variable depth sonar. The sonar system has a range of over 62 nautical miles. The destroyer is mounted with 3D air search radar and surface search radar. Number 4. The Arley Burke class destroyer is equipped with Aegis Combat System, which is capable of destroying anti ship and long range ballistic missiles. This system consists of multi function radar, a command and decision system, and the weapon control system. The ship is fitted with countermeasure system capable of performing radar warning and jamming. Under the surface, electronic warfare suit further enhances the destroyer's capabilities. A typical Burke is armed with six barreled launchers for chaff and infrared flares. The destroyer is designed with an air filtration system against nuclear, biological, and chemical warfare. On the other side, the Sovereigny class is fitted with an electronic countermeasure system and carries 200 rockets for the two decoy dispensers. The sonar suite includes active and passive hull-mounted search and attack sensors, while Udaloy class countermeasures include IR Razor Detector Array and Decoy Launching System. The system includes decoy launchers, decoy rockets, control consoles, and radars. It deceives homing anti-ship missiles by shooting electronic and optronic decoys. Number 5. The Arleigh Burke class is equipped with various combat systems including anti-submarine warfare suite, land attack cruise missiles, ship-to-ship missiles, and advanced anti-aircraft missiles. The anti-ship harpoon missile is capable to destroy a ship with range in excess of 150 nautical miles. The latest dual-role Tomahawk missiles can destroy both land and sea targets. The ship is armed with surface-to-air missiles for the Aegis system. The Burke class is armed with Sea Sparrow missiles. The 127mm gun can fire 20 rounds per minute. The vessel is armed with six-barreled close-in weapon system. The destroyer can accommodate a helicopter for submarines and surface warfare. Burks are also equipped with anti-submarine combat system with active sonar, towed sonar array, and anti-submarine rockets. In comparison, Sovereigny class is outfitted with eight anti-ship missile launchers with a range of 135 nautical miles. Armed with conventional or nuclear warhead, the missile can hit its target with a speed of Mach 2.5. The destroyer is equipped with two surface-to-air missile launchers. The system can fire three missiles simultaneously for engaging targets 16 nautical miles away. The ship is armed with 130mm and 430mm guns. For anti-submarine warfare, the destroyer is armed with two double 533mm torpedo tubes and two anti-submarine rocket launchers. The ship's helicopter pad accommodates one KA-27 anti-submarine warfare helicopter. In contrast, the Udaloy has limited anti-surface and anti-air capabilities. The destroyer is armed with eight anti-submarine and surface-to-air missile launchers. The vessel is equipped with eight Sunburn anti-ship missiles. The ship is mounted with twin-barrel 100mm naval gun and four 30mm Gatling guns. The vessel is outfitted with close-in weapon system. The ship is mounted with two 213mm caliber anti-submarine rocket launchers. The Udaloy class is outfitted with 553mm torpedo tubes capable of launching eight anti-submarine torpedoes. The ship can accommodate two KA-27 helicopters. Russian Navy destroyers act as capital ships for the Russian Navy, while the U.S. destroyers are escorts and patrol vessels. The Sovereigny class is heavily armed with supersonic anti-ship missiles which can travel with blistering speed of over Mach 2.5. For surface-to-surface -surface combat, the Sovereigny is slightly better than the Arleigh Burke, whereas the Udaloy is a torpedo-based anti-submarine and anti-ship destroyer. In this role, it heavily outperforms the U.S. Arleigh Burke due to its lethal torpedoes and sonar system. The Arleigh Burke-class destroyer has better and longer-range anti-aircraft and anti-missiles, Aegis combat system, and outperforms both Russian destroyers. This makes sense as this class was specifically designed for protecting larger capital ships. The Arleigh Burke class is also much more numerous and capable in terms of sensor, networked warfare, and modern technology. So what do you think that which class of destroyer is better, United States destroyer or Russia's destroyers? Let us know in the comments section. Also, be sure to check out our other videos. Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.